Hello, Ohana. Pastor Lemo Milani here. Okay, so today I'm going to be reading Psalms 138, is Psalm of David. And I'm also going to be reading the truth from the Bible about God's will for your life, okay? And I also have three cards that I'm going to share with you. I'm going to save this for at the end of the video, okay? So please watch to the end. And if you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and do so. Thank you so much. Share God's word with everyone, right? All right, okay. Let me go ahead and start this with a prayer, okay? And I hope you guys can hear me well. If not, um, eventually I'm going to go and get the proper equipment for do these videos. Right now, I just do them off of my phone. And I just share these videos so far now on my Facebook. And I haven't done it on um, Instagram yet because the videos can only be so long. Um, they have a limit of how long the videos can be. And I'm new to the, all of this. Okay, guys, so bear with me. And I thank you so much. We'll go ahead and start with a prayer, okay? Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you, Lord, so much, Lord, for all that you do for me, Lord. And I thank you, Lord, for your grace upon our lives, Lord, and the mercy that you show upon us, Lord. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for being our Lord and our Savior, Lord. I pray, Lord, and welcome the Holy Spirit into this ministry and in this video and into all the viewers' lives, Lord. No matter when, Lord, they're watching this video, no matter what day, what year, Lord, can we follow, Lord, for your word will endure it forever. And, Lord, your love and your grace upon us is wonderful, Lord. And we thank you so much, Lord, for it is a blessing. Yes, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, and I pray, Lord, that this message and this word touch hearts, transform lives, Lord, and may they feel your spirit, Lord, in your holy name, Jesus. Amen. Okay, Ohana. Let's go ahead and get started, okay? So first, I'm going to go ahead and read Psalms 138, okay? It is written, I will praise thee with my whole heart. Before the gods will I sing praise unto thee. I will worship towards thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified, magnified, ma, excuse me, magnified thy word above all thy name. In the day when I cried, thou answered me and strengthened me with strength in my soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise thee, O Lord, when they hear the words of thy mouth. Yea, Yea, they shall sing in the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. Amen. Though the Lord be high, yet hath he respect unto the lowly, but the proud he knoweth afar off. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of mine enemies, and thy right hand shall, and thy right hand shall save me. Amen. The Lord will, perf will perfect that which concerneth me, thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of thine own hands. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And that was Psalms 138, gang, okay? And that was from King James Version. Okay. Now let's go ahead and start. Um, we're gonna be, I'm going to be going over truth from the Bible about God's will for your life, okay, guys? So the first scripture I have over here for you is James chapter 1, verse 5 to 6. It is written, but if any of you need wisdom, you should ask God for it. He is generous and enjoys giving to all people, so he will give you wisdom. But when you ask God, you must believe and not doubt. Anyone who doubts is like a wave in the sea, blown up and down by the wind. And that was James chapter 1, verse 5 to 6, okay? Have faith, guys, and believe in God because he like knows something. One thing about God, he keeps his promises. Amen? Amen. So the next scripture I have for you is Psalms. Chapter 32, verse 8, okay? It is written, The Lord says, I will make you wise and show you where to go. I will guide you and watch over you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We have a God, a living God. We serve a living God. Amen. And he watches over us, okay, guys? No matter where you at, the Lord is with you. Amen. And I will make you wise and show you where to go. Amen. Let the Holy Spirit lead you and guide you on where you want to go. Amen. And we're going over God's will for your life. Praise, praise the Lord and be thankful that it is not your will that is fulfilled because you let me know something, God's will is more better than your plan that you get, okay? Amen. Thank you, Jesus, that the thing will work out the way I like and work out, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, that the thing will work out the way you, you see fit for me, Lord, and that your will for my life is established. Amen? Okay. Stand firm on God's promises, guys, because you let me know something. Like I mentioned earlier, God keeps his promises, okay? He loves you and wants nothing but to see you prosper. Amen. We are here to be stewards, to share with one another, yeah, to encourage one another. Amen. 
Okay, so that, what I just went over was Psalms 32 verse 8. Now we're going to go ahead and go over Psalms 119 verse 105 through 106, okay? It is written, Your word is like a lamp for my feet and a light for my path. I will do what I have promised and obey your fair, your fair laws. Amen. So God's word is a lamp to your feet. Okay, guys, whenever you have questions concerning anything, when you have any worries, doubts, fears, you have to surrender that to the Lord. Okay, amen. We serve a living God. He is here. He is very, 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 very well. He is here with you. And Jesus said, I am always with you. Okay, the Lord is always with you. Amen. Okay, so now let's go over Proverbs chapter 6, verse 20, and then verse 22 to 23. It is written, My son, keep your father's commands, and don't forget your mother's teaching. They will guide you when you walk. They will guard you when you sleep. They will speak to you when you are awake. Amen. These commands are like a lamp. These teachings is like a light, and the correction that comes from them will help you have life. Amen. Amen. And that was Proverbs chapter 6, verse 20 and 22 to 23. Okay, guys. All right. So follow. It says, keep your father's commands. Amen. And do not forget your mother's teachings. They will guide you when you walk and they will also guard you when you sleep. Okay, guys. Okay, sometimes in the middle of the night, I'll just like, boom, wake up and my eyes will open and the first words come out of my mouth is, thank you, Jesus. And I go right back to sleep. Because sometimes I just, boom, I don't know why. I don't know why I get up. But the Lord will wake me up for a reason. And the first thing I do is I give praise and thanks to Him. Amen. Amen. So the Lord wants to rely on Him. Okay, guys. He loves you. He keep you. He watching your comings and your goings. He guard your heart, guard you when you're sleeping. Amen. Okay, so the next scripture I have over here for you is Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 and 9. It is written, always remember what is written in the book of the teachings. Study it day and night to be sure to obey everything that is written there. If you do this, you will be wise and successful in everything. Remember that I command you to be strong and brave. Don't be afraid because the Lord your God will be with you everywhere you go. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You are with me always. See? Joshua chapter 1 verse 8 through 9. Okay, guys. He doesn't want you to be afraid. Mm -mm. There's no need for you to be afraid. Amen. Because you are a living temple of God and Jesus. His holy the Holy Spirit is here with you. It dwells within you. Okay, guys. Dwells within you. Believe it. Trust it. Stand firm on God's promises. Okay. If you're watching over your comments and your goings when you're sleeping, you're guarding your heart, your mind, your body, and your soul. You belong to him. Amen. Amen. Study. Okay, it also says here in scripture to study it day and night. Amen. Okay, and be sure to obey. Why we going why we need to obey? We need to obey so we can come straight and correct to the Lord. Amen. Yes, must humble ourselves before the Lord. Amen. Okay, so the next scripture I have for you is Isaiah chapter 30, verse 21. It is written: if you go the wrong way to the right. Or to the left, you will hear a voice behind you saying, this is the right way. You should go this way. What voice is that? That is the Holy Spirit speaking to you, guiding you. Amen. The Lord is with you always. So do know when you, you have to drop your guard. Okay. You have to drop your guard. Be fearless. The Lord wants you to be fearless. The Lord wants you to be bold. And the Lord wants you to be courageous. Why? Because Jesus Christ has already made the way. When you know Jesus Christ is your Lord and your Savior, walk with boldness, okay? Speak with boldness. Stand firm on God's promises, regardless of who is your adversaries, regardless of who is your enemies. Because I'm going to tell you right now, child of God, if your enemy is coming up against you, child of God, they in themselves now is an enemy to our Heavenly Father. Amen? Why? Because you're a child of God. Exactly. Amen. The Lord is watching over you. The Lord knows everything concerning you, okay? No wicked wickedness, no no evil ways can come slithering in from the crack of the corners. Do not be afraid, okay? Do know that the Lord sees everything, but the Lord also wants you to discern truth. And how are you going to discern truth? You're going to have to let God's word do what it does for you, and that's to nourish your root. That's to bring and breathe life into you. God's word is to breathe life into you. Amen? 
Amen. Okay. So let's go over now. Psalms chapter 48, verse 14. It is written, This God is our God forever and ever. He will guide us from now on. Okay. The Lord is going to guide you in everything that you do. So when you first put the kingdom of God above everything else, everything falls into place, gang, okay? Everything falls into place. Why? One, because you're being obedient. Two, you're inclining the ear so that grows your faith, amen? When you come to realize and you learn what the Lord has done for you, you trust it, you believe it, and you stand firm on his promises, and you know deep in your heart that he keeps his promises, you know there's nothing that you need to worry. When the Lord going to shake, everything that is going to be weak and sh that can be shaken will fall away. Amen? So you want to stand firm on God's promises. You want to be rooted and grounded in Jesus Christ's love. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless all of you guys. Okay, so that scripture I just went over was Psalm chapter 40, verse 14. So this next scripture I have for you is first. first Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 3 to 4, and verse 6. It is written, God wants you to be holy and to stay away from sexual sin. He wants each of you to learn to control your own body in a way that is holy and honorable. Also, do not wrong or cheat another Christian in this way. The Lord will punish people who do those things as we have already told you and warned you. Amen. Get to know God's commands. Get to know what the Lord wants you to do. The Lord doesn't want you to give your body away. And I, like I shared in my other video, I used to give my body away. Yeah, so freely. Amen. Give my heart away so freely. Give every part of me away so freely. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering me from that. Now everything, I belong to him. All of this, what you see, my insides, my outs, my everything, my heart, my body, and soul belongs to him. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. So the next scripture I have for you is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 through 18. It is written, Always be joyful, pray continually, and give thanks whatever happens. That is what God wants for you in Christ Jesus. Whatever happens, your ups and your downs. Pray for everything. Pray through all seasons. Pray for any reasons. And pray for everybody. Amen. You pray for your enemies. Yeah. Amen. Choose a blessing and not a curse. Amen. Don't curse other people. Don't hope they fail. Don't do none of that kind of stuff. Because guess what? The Lord knows what you're thinking. The Lord knows what you're feeling. The Lord knows what's in your heart. Amen. So you guys have to be mindful. Okay, guys. You do not want to go and steer off the wrong path by being too um, aware of what's going on in somebody else's life. Never mind what's going on over there. You pay attention to what the Lord is telling you to do because the Lord is addressing you. And what you need to do in your life. Amen. Stay focused. Stay focused. And who who can help you stay focused? Who can shine the light upon your feet? God's word. Amen. And he said to study day and night. Amen. Amen. Okay. So that was First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 and 18 that we just went over. Okay. And the next scripture I have for you is kind of long, but it's okay. Bear with me. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Colossians chapter 1, verse 3 and verse 9 through 10. It is written, In our prayers for you, we always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because of this, since the day we heard about you, we have continued praying for you, asking God that you will know fully what he wants. We pray that you will also have great wisdom and understanding in spiritual things so that you will live the kind of life that honors and pleases the Lord in every way. You will pro produce fruit in every good work and grow in knowledge of God. Amen. Amen. Okay, guys, you know, like, a lot of people will have expectations of you, yeah, expect you to be a certain way. You need to follow what the Lord is telling you to do. Amen. Be pleasing. Be willing and wanting and yearning to please the Lord and not man. Okay. And don't put your faith in man either. Okay. You put your faith, your trust, you believe, stand firm on God's promises. Because I'm going to tell you right now, the Lord is the only one that will help you and deliver you from whatever it is you're going through. Okay. 
do know that and the lord is working in my life guys okay it's not like oh boom he do this i get what i'm praying for and now okay thank you jesus and then boom i just on my merry way no i continuously praying continuously praying why because i can feel stuff coming up against me i know who are uh, who is all my adversaries i know who are all my enemies and these people i never choose them to be that way they choose to be that way and i chose to be who i am amen and the lord has chosen me to be the way that i am amen so i follow in the footsteps and the way that the lord has set straight for me amen coming straight and correct with him i'm not perfect but that's why i need jesus and why do you think he is with us always amen because he know he know already okay guys so don't be hard on yourself y'all just keep persevering and pushing forward because the lord will persevere for you the lord will persevere for me Thank you, Jesus, for not giving up. Amen. And guess what? If the Lord haven't answered your prayers yet, how you know? He's not working on them right now. Because He is. He is. Okay? God always keeps His promises. Okay, guys? All right. So the next scripture I have for you is Psalm 143, verse 10. It is written, Teach me to do what you want, because you are my God. Let your good spirit lead me on level ground. Amen amen when i was in the shower earlier i was thinking about like wow okay wait was it in a shower no after i was in a shower i came out and i was getting dressed and i was thinking you know what us guys yeah me you and everybody else children of god we are ground level we our feet is on the ground we here okay so the only reason why you here today still is because the Lord is working in you and he's preparing you for something great and above everything else the Lord is being patient with you amen thank you Jesus for being patient with us yes okay and let let the Holy Spirit lead you in all that you do amen may God bless you in all your endeavors amen okay so next scripture we're gonna go over is first Timothy chapter 2 verse 1 and then verse 3 to 4 it is written first i tell you to pray for all people asking god for what they need and being thankful to him this is good and it pleases god our savior who wants all people to be saved and to know the truth amen that's why we choose a blessing and not a curse and that's why we bless our enemies by what praying for them amen when you feel something you know something you pray for them yeah that's what that's what the Lord wants you to do is to pray for all people, for everybody. One of these days I'm gonna go hang up my old um <laughs> I have this really huge canvas and I made it as like my vision board. I'm pretty sure all you guys know what a vision board is. And this thing is like the size of the wall, okay? And at that time I was going through a lot of stuff and I was doing a lot of inner work, yeah. You know? So I removed myself from a lot of relationships so i've um stepped away from the the crowd you know from the masses from everyone and i took this time to dig deep and to pour myself into how can i help the next person what do i have that i can i can bless someone else and help by teaching showing and being an example okay guys but at this time, I'm going to be real with you, at this time, I wasn't studying yet, okay? I wasn't studying. At this time, I was I was praying, of course, I was praying, but then yet at the same time, I wasn't building up my knowledge. I wasn't learning more about God or what He wanted of me, but I was being led by the Holy Spirit still and navigating through all of this, okay, guys? So I was walking by faith and not by sight, amen? And what happened was, I went ahead and made my vision board and it it inspired me to do more, to be more, to get to know more. Not only about just who I am, but about who is the one leading me and guiding me. Amen. I had a, at that time, I had a lot of stuff going on in my life that I really needed to address. So I was, I was in the midst of a storm while i was pursuing all of this okay i had a lot of chaos going around me but i never give up okay i could feel all types of pain that was going on in my body i was going in and out of the hospital at the time but i never give up okay i kept pushing forward i kept persevering and i knew jesus was with me every step of the way 
but I needed to nourish my root. I needed to draw nearer and closer to God. Amen. And the only way that I was able to do that is I had to get to know more and more about what he has to say about me. Yeah. I had to learn how to turn off and tune out the enemy and what he thought and what he was saying to me. I had to get to know the truth. Amen. Amen. And the Lord, is, God's word will lead you and guide you in the right direction. Okay, guys, you have to open your heart. No use this to comprehend what game get going on inside the Bible. Don't use your head. Okay. And don't read and to, to just like memorize by word for word. Because I know some people that can get good memory of what the word says, but they no can feel them. Yeah. You got to give them time for marinate inside of you. Amen. And just, it, you have to trust in the Lord. You need to humble yourself. Amen. Okay. The Lord knew my heart. He could see my intentions and he knew. So even though I wasn't studying, he was leading and guiding me. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So trust in God. Okay, guys. Trust in all his promises. Stand firm on his promises and you will, will, will not, you will not fail. Amen. Get that word fail out of your brain. Don't think about failing because you, you're not in failure. And I don't care who told you you're in failure. They're a liar. Okay? They, that's lying. That's that's no good. That's the enemy right there trying to feed you BS and plant weeds in your garden. Don't let allow people to plant weeds in your garden. Okay? What you do with the weeds in your garden, you pluck them out from the root and you toss it on the side. Amen? And what we do, we carry on. What we do, we pray for them. What we do, we persevere. And what? In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. So the next scripture I have for you is Proverbs chapter 16, verse 3. It is written, depend on the Lord in whatever you do and your plans will succeed. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Depend on the Lord. The Lord wants you to depend on him. Don't depend on your opinions. Don't depend on no man. Don't depend on your old, your old ways of thinking. Because a lot of people, how they're operating is to survive. We've been through so much that we're living through when survival mindset. Amen. But the Lord can deliver you from trying to survive. The Lord wants you to live. And how are you going to live? Breathing in. Breathing in God's word. Amen. Let that bug nour nourish your root. Let them marinate in your heart. Okay. Because the Lord look at this. Your heart. The Lord don't care how much money you get. The Lord don't care how fancy your car. The Lord don't care how much friends you get. The Lord don't care if you don't have no friends. Amen. Because he knows he is your true friend. Amen. Go ahead and watch my other videos more deeper and into detail about that. About, um, I think that one is titled Bully versus True Friend. And um, Jesus is your brother. My brother is the title of that video. Okay. Um. Depend on the Lord and whatever you do and all your plans will succeed. Okay, guys. And that was Proverbs chapter 16, verse 3. Okay. The next scripture I have for you is Psalms chapter 37, verse 23 to 24. It is written, When a person's steps follow the Lord, God is pleased with his ways. If he stumbles, he will not fall because the Lord holds his hand. Amen. The Lord holds your hand. Yeah. The Lord is walking with you. Every step you take, the Lord is with you. Okay? Do not think for a second the Lord has left you because he hasn't. Okay? That's what the enemy like you believe, that you're all alone. Amen? The enemy like you think that you, um, you're doomed. You're not. No. Child of God, you're not. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Okay, guys? Don't believe the lies of the enemy, okay, guys? They're only upset because they cannot have what you have and they're not who you are, amen? But they would be able to be blessed if they chose a blessing instead of a curse, but they want to go do all wickedness. The Lord see their heart, amen? But pray for them, yeah? Pray that they be delivered from whatever it is that is hindering their walk and seeking truth, yeah? And you share the gospel of peace with everybody, amen? And don't, don't forget to... Apply the full armor of God on them. Okay, guys. Um, okay. And if he stumbles, he will not fall. Why are you not going to fall when you stumble? Why? Because the Lord is with you always. The Lord is right there holding your hand. He got you. Okay. 
He got you. Every step of the way, the Lord got you. He loves you very much. He knows everything concerning you. Amen. You are not alone, okay, guys? Believe, believe, have trust, faith, believe in Him, okay? Step with boldness, yeah? Be courageous. And we don't have to live our life trying to survive, okay? Because we're beyond survival mode, gang, okay? We are conquerors in the mighty name of Jesus. Why? Because the Lord has done it all already. The Lord has already done it for us. He's the Lord and our Savior. Amen? Now we need to what? Persevere and push forward because our feet is here on level ground. When the Lord will shake, everything that is weak, it can be shook and will be shaken and will fall away. So stand firm. You want your roots rooted and grounded in Jesus Christ. Okay, guys? Cannot stress that enough. I will keep repeating myself, amen, to the Lord said, no more. <laughs> and the Lord will not never ever tell me no more. The Lord wants us to keep preaching the good, the good news about him. He wants us to encourage one another. And that's the whole point of all the videos that I make is to encourage you, okay? To encourage you. And it also encourages myself. I enjoy making these videos a lot. It's like I'm breathing life. The Holy Spirit is breathing life into me. As I'm making these videos and breathing life into you and it just nourishes my root and it makes me so happy filled with joy my heart is filled with joy being able to share with you the good news yes amen okay okay the next scripture I have here is Psalms chapter 31 verse 3 to 5 it is written you are my rock and my protection for the good for the good of your name lead me and guide me I give you my life. Save me, Lord, God of truth. Amen. We serve a living God, guys. He's God of truth, okay? God's word is truth. You want to know God's word for yourself. You want to build a relationship with the Lord, a personal relationship with the Lord, because you want to know, okay? And the Holy Spirit is going to help you to get to know and to help you discern what is truth and what's not. Amen. Amen. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, gang, okay? All right. So the next scripture I have for you is Nehemiah chapter 9, verse 9, verse 13, and verse 20. It is written, You saw our ancestors suffering in Egypt and heard them cry out at the Red Sea. You came down to Mount Sinai, I hope I'm saying that right, and spoke from heaven to our ancestors. You gave... You gave them fair rules and true teaching, good orders and commands. You gave your God spirit. Oh God, hello. Excuse me. Sorry. Forgive me. You gave your good spirit to teach them. You gave them manna to eat and water when they were thirsty. Okay. Got that? That was Nehemiah chapter 9 verse 9 verse 13 and verse 20 all these scriptures are going over with you guys will be in the drop box below so that way you can go back and nourish your root or you can go in your bible if i'm moving too quick for you you can go in your bible and highlight or put a marker or something and later on refer and then you can study like it says in scripture here study night and day amen amen what are you guys root guys okay be drenched in, in, in the love and the grace. All that the Lord has to offer you. Allow these words to move you. Allow God's words to transform you. Amen. Okay, the next scripture I have for you is Proverbs chapter 3, verse 1. Then verse 5 through 6 and verse 11 through 12. It is written, My child, do not forget my teaching, but keep my command in your mind. Trust the Lord with all your heart and do not depend on your own understanding. Remember the Lord in all you do and he will give you success. My child, do not reject the Lord's discipline and do not get angry when he corrects you. The Lord corrects those he loves just as a parent corrects the child they delight in. Amen. Amen. Do not forget my teaching. But keep my commands in your mind. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, amen. And do not depend on your own understanding. 
Remember the Lord in all that you do, okay, guys? He will establish you in all the good works of your hand, guys, okay? Just keep pressing forward, persevering. Don't give up, okay? Do not give up. Keep pushing, keep pushing. I know it's hot. I know it's hard, okay, guys? But nobody said it was going to be easy. And if it was easy, what's the point, right? What's the point if it's going to be so easy? We don't want life to be so easy, right? The Lord simplifies everything. He just wants you to love one another, okay? Amen. Encourage one another. Step away and put aside your old ways, amen? Let him transform your heart from that stony heart to a heart beating of flesh so it can beat to his, his rhythm, amen? To his love, his grace, his mercy, his compassion, and everything that he has in store for you guys, okay? The Lord is working. The Lord is working. The Lord is working in me, amen? He ain't done, amen? And he ain't done with you either, okay? All right, so the next scripture... I have for you is Isaiah chapter 48 verse 17 it is written this is what the Lord who saves you the Holy One of Israel says I am the Lord your God who teaches you to do what is good who leads you in the way you should go amen let the Lord lead you okay because he know where you need you need to be and he know where you belong and that's with him because he said you belong to him amen Amen. Claim it. Believe it. Trust it. Amen. Water each other's root. Share share the good news of how the Lord has transformed your life. Yeah, your life. Amen. Dig deeper, guys. Keep digging. Never stop. Keep digging. Keep pushing for it. Keep persevering. Amen. Okay. So the next scripture I have over here is Isaiah chapter 58, verse 11. It is written, The Lord will always lead you. He will satisfy your needs in dry lands and give strength to your bones. You will be like a garden that has much water, like a spring that never runs dry. Amen. Amen. When I was reading that, I thought of a picture that I took the other day. It was, um, it was pouring really hard here in Hawaii. Okay, so I live on Oahu. So it was pouring really hard and it was water. Oh my gosh, it was just nourishing our aina. And the mountains, all oh, waterfalls just flowing everywhere. And I just, I just was sitting in my room, in my office, in here, peeping out my window and had the screen. I get like a puka in my screen. I was with my camera, trying to get my camera out the puka so I can zoom in to the waterfall. And I was just looking at it. The water was so steady that it just looked like a picture when I was looking at it through the camera. You like... It didn't even look like the water was moving because the water was moving so fast and so steady. The flow was so steady that it looked like a still picture. Okay, guys, it was wonderful. Then the, yesterday, I went for a drive with my honey and went up to Makaha. And the mountain up there was, it, was, it wasn't raining at this point, but the waters was collecting in the valleys and then the waters was just overflowing, overflowing. It was so beautiful. Share the overflow, guys, okay? Share the overflow. Okay. All right, the next scripture I have for you is John chapter 16, verse 13 to 14. It is right there. But when the spirit of truth comes, he will lead you into all truth. He will not speak his own words, but he will speak only what he hears and he will tell you what is to come. The spirit of truth will bring glory to me because he will take what I have to say and tell it to you. Amen. 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 But when the spirit of truth comes, speaking of the Holy Spirit, amen. Okay, guys, that was John chapter 16, verse 13 to 14. Next scripture I have here is Romans chapter 12, verse 2. It is written, Do not change yourselves to be like the people of this world, but be changed within by a new way of thinking. Then you will be able to decide what God wants for you. Okay? And you will know what is good and pleasing to Him and what is perfect what is perfect okay do not conform yourself to the ways of this world do not be what people expect you to be be who god will create you to be amen 
Amen. And if you don't know who you are, then you're going to have to do that inner work. You're going to have to dig. You're going to have to knock. You're going to have to seek. And you're going to have to pray. You're going to have to humble yourself. Amen. Ask the Lord, Lord, what is it that you want me to do? You talk to him. You incline your ear to him. And when he tell you, and when he tell you for move, and when he does make you move, and you move, you will be amazed on the things that you will be able to do because you're following what the Lord has asked you to do. And number one, guys, obey. Be obedient to God's word. Amen. Come straight and correct with the Lord. Amen. And don't worry about what's going on in this world. Yes, there's all kinds of stuff going on. All kinds of crazy stuff. But guess what? God is good. Jesus knows everything. The Lord knows everything concerning you. The Lord knows everything concerning everybody. Amen. Trust in the Lord with everything, guys. When you worry, don't worry. Okay. So, what did I go over? Oh, okay. That was Romans chapter 12, verse 2. So, the next scripture here is Romans chapter 8, verse 14. It is written, The true children of God are those who let God's Spirit lead them. Amen. You allow the Holy Spirit to come in and dwell within your heart because that's where He is. And He's a friend. He's your close friend. He sticks closer than a brother. Amen. Okay. And He's here to guide you, to help you to discern what is truth. Amen. And when He speaks, Listen, okay? Listen. Sometimes you gotta stop doing a lot of this and just come out. Listen, listen, okay? Incline your ear, your pepe out. Incline them, listen, and let the Holy Spirit lead you and guide you, okay, guys? All right. Okay, so that was Romans chapter 8, verse 14. Now we're going to, over, going to go over Colossians chapter 3, verse 15 to 17. It is written, Let the peace that Christ gives control your thinking, because you were all called together in one body to have peace. Always be thankful that the teaching of Christ live in you richly. Use all wisdom to teach and instruct each other by singing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God. Everything you do or say should be done to Abri, Jesus your Lord. Oh my gosh. O-B-E-T-Y. Jesus your Lord. And in all you do, give thanks to God the Father through Jesus. Amen. That was Colossians chapter 3 verse 15 and 17 guys. Okay. So again, all these scriptures are going to be in the drop off below for you guys to go ahead and study, dig deeper, get to know that will marinate in your heart, amen. Let the Holy Spirit lead you, guide you, okay guys. Next scripture is Ephesians chapter 5 verse 17. It is written, so do not be foolish, but learn what the Lord wants you to do, okay. Learn what the Lord wants you to do. Come straight and correct. Amen. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my gosh. Okay. That was the end. That was, we just went over this whole section. Okay. That was a lot, guys. This whole section was truth from the Bible about God's will for your life. Okay, guys. This is very important. So go ahead and you go and nourish your root with all these scriptures. You let this bugger marinate. You go over them. You go study them. Reflect. Amen. Okay. So I was reading from God's Promises for Every Day. And this book right here is only $4.99. And you can go ahead and get it from CBS. It's a good tool that you can use to water your root and go share what you've learned and how the Lord has transformed your life because you don't know you just never know okay guys who may need to hear what you have to what 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 you have to say okay like I don't get to choose on my own behalf of when the Holy Spirit will move no the Holy Spirit move when he like move okay and the Holy Spirit move within me and he will move through you amen Thank you, Jesus, it works that way, okay? Because we don't know, right? Who know best? Who know better? Who Whose plan work out better than ours? God's will for our life, amen. Align yourself with God's word, okay, guys? So you guys can get to know, yeah? You guys can learn how to discern truth and all of that of what the Lord is asking of you. Okay, so now it's time for these cards. So the first card I have for you is the Lord of Righteousness. 
Jeremiah chapter, yeah, Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 6, it is written, This is the name by which he will be called, the Lord our righteous Savior. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. So these cards, there's scripture in the front and there's a prayer in the back. So now the prayer for this one is, Lord, help me to hunger and thirst for righteousness here on earth. Thank you for being my righteous savior. Amen. Beautiful. This one is the Lord. The Lord is there. Yahweh Shema. Um, Ezekiel chapter 48 verse 35. It is written. The name of the city from that time on will be the Lord is there. And in the back, the prayer is, Lord, wherever I go and whatever I do, you are with me. You are present in the midst of my greatest joy and saddest moments. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Oh, man. I, I like to use these cards in my videos, sowing these seeds to you guys so it can nourish your roots, right? Cultivate the garden within your heart, within God's love, so you may be rooted and grounded in Jesus Christ's love. Amen. These cards are great so you can study, also great to sow seeds within your community or wherever you may go, your ohana, your friends, when you get gathering this holiday season. These are great gifts, okay? And these cards as well, oh, here's my box. These cards right here, this one is praying the names of God. These come with 50 cards, okay? 50 cards to comfort and bless your heart as you pray and memorize the wonderful names of God. And this is also only $4.99. Okay, guys. So awesome tool and an awesome gift. A gift that will keep on giving. Amen. In Jesus' name. Okay, and this card right here. Jesus the Savior. And the scripture here is Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. It is written. She will give birth to a son. And you are to give him the name Jesus. Because he will save his people from their sin. Amen. And the prayer is, Jesus, thank you for saving us from our sins. The name above all names, our Savior, I give glory to you. In your mighty name, Jesus. Amen. Whew, thank you, Holy Spirit. Guys. Oh, my goodness. God is good. Thank you, Jesus. These cards are awesome tools to use for studying, okay, guys? This book is also good to study. Also, God's promises for every day. When you go to the front of the book, okay, you have, it's breaking, broken down into sections, okay? So, the contents, in the contents, is Jesus is your, and then it has Savior, Lord, love, peace, forgiveness, righteousness, deliverer, fellowship, example, friend, Brother, protector, security, answer, satisfaction, and Jesus is your everything. Okay, so that's one whole section going over all what Jesus is to you, what he is. Okay, amen. And then there's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, forgive me, eight, nine. There's nine sections, but at the very back of this book, I'd like to share this with you real quick, which I shared um, a few scriptures from this section, but I will do a video over this whole entire section. Okay, guys, I'll make this my next video. Going, um, It's God's plan of salvation. Okay, guys, and there's all the scriptures in here concerning God's plan of salvation. Amen. And in the very back, very, very end of the book, there's a section for notes, so you can take notes and stuff. And it's quite a few pages for you to do so. Um, okay, guys, um, thank you so much for being here. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe for my, to my channel. Share God's word with everyone. Share love and be love and be everything that the Lord has created you to be a man stand firm on god's promises okay guys and guess what and remember this now okay guess what the lord always keeps his promises amen amen god bless you and you have a beautiful blessed day in jesus holy name
Falou.